Hello, I'm Dave. Welcome to my Technical Notes channel. In TechNode 82, I'll demonstrate the use of over-the-air updates. Over-the-air updating enables you to update your ESP over a Wi-Fi network. It's useful to look at the concept of over-the-air updating, how it operates. So I'm going to cover the Wi-Fi over-the-air updates. And when the image is transferred, it gets verified and then the device reboots and your new code becomes operational. So the ESP32 is prepared for over-the-air updating by augmenting your setup. That creates a two partitions, OTA1 and OTA2. And I'll show in a second how that operates. So to begin with, the your ESP32 comes from the factory with blank memory. I've got a sketch called Blink. Blinks the LED and I've uploaded it and the boot partition is set to start your sketch blink. Now we're going to prepare the ESP32 for over the air updating which is augmenting that setup code to create the two over the air partitions one and two and this diagram now depicts that I'm, I've got my ESP32 with my Blink version 1 sketch loaded and I've added the setup code for over the air update support and I've now programmed the ESP32 with my Blink sketch. Its boot partition is set and now I come along and I've modified my code again and I've uploaded it. This time it goes to over the air update partition 2 and the boot partition gets reset to the second partition and when I start up my version 2 code starts from there. Then I come along with my version 3 code and I'll upload that and now my boot partition gets moved to my new sketch leaving the old sketch in place on the uh, OTA2 partition. Then I come along with my fourth sketch and upload that and the boot partition gets moved. So your code gets swapped between partition 1 and 2 all the time. So that's how the over there updating actually functions. To set up your IDE for over the air updates, download and install Python 2.714 has to be that version. So there's there is detailed install instructions on the ESP web pages. Load up an ESP32 with the added OTA bootloader and a sketch. Restart your IDE and restart the ESP32. So you must do that for a new device, any device actually. Wait for the port to become visible and it will become visible under your port section and there I'm depicting the ESP32 has started and the port number is visible and that's what mine looks like. Make adjustments to your sketch. Now unplug and power up your ESP32 on a battery or a separate power supply. It doesn't need to be connected to your PC and now you can use that network port to update the uh, device. To add over the air update support to your sketch, include the, the parts in yellow. Include the OTA setup needs in your setup section. I'm talking about the Arduino ID in this context. And include that OTA request check in your main loop. Now, if your program doesn't include a regular check, if it doesn't always call Arduino OTA.handle, it's never going to undertake an over-the-air update, so you need to be aware of that. So it needs a regular check to poll um, your PC or your uh, your your uh, desktop computer for an over-the-air update. Here I'm highlighting the uh, libraries required for over-the-air updating. Credentials file is for my Wi-Fi password and SSID, so that can be ignored. I think it's a good practice to in your setup section, keep a separate section for OTA updates, uh, which is what I've done here in this example, and then your own setup for your particular sketch. 
so they're quite distinct. Uh, similarly in the loop section uh, you must include that OTA check once in a while and then have your sketch there as normal. So now I've got a blank ESP32 and I'll select the USB port and I'll upload my OTA demonstration sketch. Just wait for that to upload um, again across the USB port and when it uh, completes we should start seeing the LED flashing at one second on, one second off and there it is flashing away. So it's still connected to the USB cable. Now I'll go ahead and modify the sketch from one second flash to 0.1 second flash times. Note that the ESP32 is now running on a battery in the sub image there and I've selected the network port and now I'm going to initiate an over the air update and wait for that to compile and transfer over. It takes a few seconds to connect and then it says uploading and wait for the device to uh, switch over and it already has. Here's a reminder of how to implement over the air updates. Take your sketch, supplement it with the over the air setup requirements in addition to your own. Include in the main loop that requirement for a polling of the uh, over the air update requests. So Arduino OTA.handle function. Add that to your loop as well and then your sketch program will support over the air updating. Here's a summary of adding OTA support. First of all install Python 2.7.14 onto your PC and that then gives your IDE uh, OTA support capability. Adjust your sketch or sketches to add OTA bootloader support so that's the section in the setup. See the example I provided on GitHub. Add OTA check line to your main program loop. It needs to do that at least once in a while otherwise it will never detect an over-the-air update request. Now you can um, remove the USB cable from the ESP32 and connect it to a separate power supply or battery. Now you can select, when it starts, you can now select the network port which will appear in your port section and update the ESP32 over the air. If it stops working, reload the OTA bootloader and occasionally I found Windows PC needs to repair the Python install for the port to appear. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful.